Ever since the announcement of the new Bioshock all the way back in December of 2019, and the establishment of Cloud Chamber Studios, coming from Take-Two and 2K themselves, there's been one question that seemingly pops up everywhere, and I've seen it asked in a multitude of different ways. Is Ken Levine going to be the one that's making this new Bioshock? Is he going to be involved? Is he developing it? Is he directing it? Is he making it? Etc. Any question that you can come up with involving Ken Levine and the new Bioshock has more than likely been asked. And unfortunately, all of those questions lead to the same answer. That being no. The new Bioshock is going to be developed by the people at Cloud Chamber Studios. However, that is not what I want to talk about. I want to zero in on why Ken Levine isn't involved with another Bioshock. So, with that being said, would you kindly sit back, relax, subscribe if you're new because we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I hope you enjoy the video. Very quickly, this is going to be two separate articles. My apologies during the intro of the video. So if you want to check both of those out, they'll be in the description. Go show them support and check them out for yourself. Bioshock creator moved away from the franchise because he felt, quote, trapped. Bioshock creator Ken Levine has said that he didn't want to make Bioshock 4 because he felt trapped by the franchise's success. In a recent interview with Sacred Symbols, which is a podcast, I believe, Levine revealed that he felt like he was up against himself with each new entry. And with that, I can honestly understand. If you take someone that has so much creativity, like a developer, producer, director, etc., it's hard for them to pigeonhole themselves. So I can totally understand wanting to step out of the box and try something new. And especially when you're breaking away from something that you're so well known for doing and trying something new, it's a huge leap of faith, but at least you're not pigeon held anymore. So I totally understand. Why Ken Levine chose Judas over Bioshock 4. Following Bioshock Infinite, Developer Irrational Games went through significant restructuring and was rebranded as Ghost Story Games, where Levine started developing first-person shooter Judas, and I believe this was in 2014 after the launch of Burial at Sea Episode 2. Speaking on the Sacred Symbols podcast, hey, I was right. Levine said that he had become his own worst enemy, after deciding that he wanted Bioshock to become a blockbuster like Call of Duty, and I can definitely see why that would be an issue. Obviously, each Bioshock has been an incredible experience, whether you enjoy it in terms of Infinite, 1, 2, etc., or if you just didn't care for it, they have been some of gaming's greatest influences and just overall experiences. And you take something like Call of Duty, which has a ton of backing in terms of finances, and you put them up together with Bioshock, it just won't work out. And obviously with Call of Duty, even though the quality of the games keep going downhill, they keep raking in millions and millions and millions every single year. So... I could definitely see where Ken would be coming from with that. Quote, I wanted a kind of Call of Duty blockbuster, so a lot of Infinite was designed to try to appeal to an even broader audience. End quote, Levine admitted. Quote, One of the reasons I stopped doing Bioshock games after that is that you can't lean on something. You can't compete against yourself again. End quote. Levine said that the whole idea of outdoing himself became unhealthy and blamed himself for setting up that, quote, trap. He added that Bioshock was no longer fun to work on, so he opted to make Judas. So essentially, being pigeon-held 
not being able to outdo himself and obviously making it unhealthy on himself, wanting it to become a blockbuster like Call of Duty, and obviously being burnt out. Those are the four main things as to why Ken Levine stopped. Now let's jump into the other article for some additional information. Now for the additional information, this article is very quick as well, so let's get into it. The Bioshock franchise was a huge hit and gained a massive following over the years. However, after the three mainline installments for the IP, we're left waiting on what's next. But we already know that Ken Levine won't be involved. If you don't recognize the name, that is the man behind Bioshock. Of course, I mean... Why wouldn't we know that? But I digress, that's okay. Thanks to Tweak Town, what a name. We're learning that Ken Levine was featured on a podcast episode of Sacred Symbols. During the conversation, it was unveiled that just one of the reasons caused Ken to part with an IP that he helped create. Bioshock fans are still waiting on information to trickle out to the public obviously from Cloud Chamber and 2K, which we have been waiting forever and ever and ever, and it's been years and years and years, but I will stop being negative because it'll come out at one point in time, right? <laughs> right? Oh boy. We know that a Bioshock 4 is in the works, but outside of that, there's been no indication of what we can expect. Hopefully, that'll change soon. But looking back on the franchise, the man who helped create Bioshock is glad to have stepped away. Ken Levine revealed the amount of pressure that was placed on the IP after its success. Initially, Ken revealed that they were hopeful they could sell a million units of Bioshock when they first developed the game. But what happened was they sold a whole lot more than that. Ken noted that this is where the pressure started to build. At first, Ken compares the development team to an underdog, because everyone loves to root for the underdog. But once you have that hit, there's the turn of the next game also doing incredibly well. He would later note that there are some looking for you to stumble or have the expectation that you can sell your next installment. It's because of that, that Ken Levine felt trapped or pigeonheld as I mentioned earlier, and decided he needed to exit from the franchise after releasing Infinite. Since he left, Ken stated that you can't compete against yourself. It's not a healthy way to live. Of course, Infinite's also had a strong following, but where the franchise will go from here is anyone's guess. Yeah, that's an understatement. While Ken might not be involved with this installment, we know that Cloud Chamber Studios is the developer working on Bioshock 4. But again, no official marketing materials has been released to hype up on what's coming next. Well, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching, I hope you enjoyed that information. It was honestly refreshing to hear a different perspective come out on why he left the Bioshock series. So let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like more inside information like that, or for me to cover more topics like this specifically. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? As I mentioned at the beginning, we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and that would be absolutely incredible to hit, and I am genuinely grateful for you all. If you enjoyed the video, would you kindly hit that like, ring the bell, and turn on all post notifications, to never miss a future video or future live stream on the channel. If you want to talk to me outside of YouTube, my social medias and my Discord server, which I would highly recommend joining, will be down in the description below. As always, with that being said, a couple of videos should be popping up on the screen now if you want to check those out. And also, be sure to take care, stay safe, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys.